Hey guys, what's up? So today we continue the reproductive health chapter 3.2. Here we will deal with contraception basically, its introduction, the classification, properties, natural method of contraception, and the barrier method of contraception. This is presented by me, Dr. Roman Saini, and this is the YouTube channel Unacademy Medical. If you have any doubt or any query, uh, you can ask on this page. You can follow this page so that you know the latest videos on Academy Medical. And please spread the word of this education revolution as much as you can. See, contraception and birth control are almost synonymous. It means that any method, any instrument or any machine or any device which prevent pregnancy, as simple as that, that's the basic definition. Anything which prevents pregnancy is contraception. Now, family planning is use of birth control okay to plan or limit the family size slightly different concept okay now if i remove the testes or ovary or if i remove the gonads it's still it will prevent pregnancy but it will not be contraception okay so we will uh, learn why it is not contraception so contraception has three huge benefits you can plan the pregnancy accordingly okay it prevents lots of teenage pregnancy uh, because of so premarital intercourse do not lead to pregnancy because if they practice contraception carefully and finally it will reduce unnecessary abortions medical termination of pregnancies and it will reduce the maternal mortality rate eventually so it is very very beneficial to the society now classification of birth control or contraception it is basically of two types one is the permanent first is the permanent Permanent means which is not reversible, okay, uh, it will take you extreme steps to reverse it, okay, sometimes vasectomy can be reversed but it takes extreme steps to reverse it and it is very difficult to reverse it, okay, so it is also called as sterilization, it is vasectomy in males where you ligate the vas deferens while tubectomy or the tubal ligation that is oviduct in case of females. This is the permanent method. We will deal with it in the next tutorial. One is the temporary method. Temporary means which is reversible. Okay. It can be for minutes, it can be for days, it can be for years. But whenever a person wants to reverse it, it can be reversed. Okay, just remember this definition. Now, temporary includes the natural or cyclical methods. It includes periodic abstinence. So whenever the female is going through fertile phase, the couples refrain from intercourse withdrawal method just before ejaculation male partner withdraws the penis and it leads to uh, ejaculation outside the vagina now third point is lactational amenorrhea it means due to lactation menses is not there because of prolactin hormone and it leads to natural contraception now barrier methods are one which prevents the meeting of sperm with ovum they do not allow to fuse sperm with ovum okay it includes condoms sponges diaphragms vaults etc etc okay i'll tell you later these are physical structure okay physical barriers between sperm and ovum hormonal methods means which includes hormones which are either estrogen or progesterone okay or both okay that is the basically they are derivatives of them only either they can be implanted inside the body the example nor plant implanon or it can be non implantable for example in form of oral pills either they can be combined estrogen plus progesterone either can be emergency pills or it can be progesterone only pills then it can be patches of estrogen or progesterone then injections and finally vaginal rings so these are the non implantable one and at last you have the intrauterine devices or intrauterine systems please remember them like copper t or multi load 375 or something like that so just remember these terms you will it will encounter it in the next tutorial now what are the properties of an ideal contraceptive why will you use a particular contraceptive like it should have some properties right it should be user friendly okay there should there should be no hassle no expertise required for its use for example condom fits in this category okay uh, but let's say if you are using very very high sophisticated method like diaphragms etc so you need to have some expertise to insert it easily reversible again like uh, for example sterilization methods are not easily reversible right so this does not fit into this category so it should be easily reversible means it should not be permanent 
then it should be easily available economical for example if you go for oral contraceptive pills they cost hundreds of rupees per month so many people will not be able to afford it so it should not be too costly and it should be pocket friendly okay so example like condoms you can get it at a very cheap price at government store then it should be effective now condom will not fit this category because 18 percent failure rate is there with condoms which is a very high failure rate with regular use or the usual or typical use uh, it should have very less or no failure rate for example the implantable thing or sterilization they have they are highly effective it should have no or least side effects for example when you take ocps there are lots of side effects okay so it should have zero side effects as far as possible otherwise couples will not use it and finally it should not interfere with the sexual drive libido or the sexual performance so some people complain that condom uh, affects the sexual pleasure so it should not affect okay so these are the six qualities of an ideal contraceptive please remember them now natural method of contraception basically it means you do not use any machines or you do not use any devices whatsoever so it decreases the probability okay it decreases the probability of sperm fusing with ovum just remember this okay no medicines no devices no instruments nothing is used you just play with the biological cycles and biological methods okay so it has negligible side effects or almost zero side effects but the failure chances are extremely high okay it is the highest failure rate okay highest failure rate just remember this and it includes periodic abstinence periodic abstinence means let's say a female has 28 day cycle okay so first day is the first day of menses then 1 to 4 are the menses day when the bleeding occurs then 4 to 11 is relatively safe period okay then again uh, 4 to 10 rather then 10 to 17 is considered as uh, unsafe period because ovulation usually happens on 14th day a female has a perfect cycle then again after 17 to 28 it is a relatively safe period so that is how it happens as i have already told you how the menstrual cycle works so in fertile phase the couples abstains from having sex because ovulation happens around 14 day okay just remember this 14th day ovulation happens and probability of fertilization three days before and three days after are very high that is between 10 to 17 days now how to identify this fertile phase how do you know the female is fertile for example if the female has 21 day cycle then when does ovulation will occur will it occur on the seventh day or the 14th day so these questions you should know and we will deal with it now shortest cycle minus 21 days is the pre ovulatory period just remember this so for example a female shortest cycle is 30 so the pre ovulatory period will be nine days okay this is how you calculate like in that period it is infertile the female is completely infertile okay it's not possible the fertility so that is called as pre ovulatory infertile period so shortest cycle minus 21 days okay so let's assume it is a 28 day cycle okay then the day of ovulation is the 14th day or the first day of menses plus the 13 days that is the 14th day is the ovulation day now day of ovulation is the duration of menstrual cycle minus 14 days also okay this is also if you if let's say the 28 day cycle then minus 14 will give you 14 let's say if it is a 21 day cycle then the day of ovulation is seventh day and let's say if it is a 35 day cycle then the day of ovulation is 21st day just remember this formula it helps a lot fertile phase is basically plus minus three days of ovulation so for example if ovulation is happening on 14th day then 10 to 17 can be considered fertile phase plus minus three days and ovulation day plus 14 days is the first day of menses this is basically this formula only just you have reversed the things okay so ovulation day plus 14 days is equals to first day of menses just remember this okay just remember this it will help you a lot so for example ovulation if it is happening on 21 day then 14 day that means the first day of menses will be after 35th day so this was the calendar method Symptothermal method means some symptoms are happening and some thermal changes are happening. What is this thermal change? Basically, your basal body temperature of females it rises by 0.5 to 1 degree Celsius. Okay, this is in under the influence of ovulation. There is also material smudge, which is a term which means the pain which happens in the middle of the month because of ovulation in the females. There is breast tenderness associated as I have already spoken, higher basal body temperature 
बिकॉज ऑफ ओबुलेशन बिकॉज ऑफ प्रोजेस्टरॉन इफेक्ट स्लाइटली हायर प्रोजेस्टरॉन वाई प्रोजेस्टरॉन कम्स बिकॉज ऑफ द सीक्रेशन फ्रॉम कॉर्पस ल्यूटियम नो सर्विक्स पोजिशन ऑल्सो चेंजेस एंड फाइनली सर्वाइकल म्यूकस बिकम्स स्ट्रेची आफ्टर ओवलेशन प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस यू कैन फीमेल कैन आइडेंटिफाई यूजिंग फिंगर टेस्ट सो दीज आर द फाइव सिम्टोथर्मल मैथड विच इंडिकेट्स ओवलेशन नन ऑफ दैम इज हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटीड नाउ विड्रॉल मैथड और क्वाइटस इंटरप्टस क्वाइटस मीन्स इंटरकोर्स और सेक्स इंटरप्टस मीन्स इंटरप्शन विड्रॉल इज बेसिकली पेनाइल विड्रॉन मैथड so male partner withdraws the penis from vagina just before ejaculation so as to avoid insemination okay so what is it happening is the male partner before the ejaculation it it is withdrawing and ejaculation is happening outside the vagina so there is no chance of meeting but it has a very high failure rate two things first of all withdrawal is a very difficult phenomena at that particular point of time very very difficult to control even if it fails once then it means it failed now second is there is something called as pre ejaculate it also contains some sperms okay so pre ejaculate also has some sperms so it has very high failure rate now lactational amenorrhea means it is related to milk production okay amenorrhea means absence of menstrual cycle so whenever a female is doing high intensity lactation which is caused by high concentration of prolactin please remember this because of prolactin it is anti gnrh what is gnrh gnrh is gonadotropin releasing hormone which is released from hypothalamus this in turn leads to release of gonadotropins which are fsh and lh and these are extremely cru crucial for the ovulation since they are not releasing and since so menstrual cycle ceases to exist okay so prolactin inhibits secretion of gnrh this causes suspension of ovarian cycle also as well as menstrual cycle okay so if mother breast feeds the child exclusively the chances of conception are reduced to much much extent okay almost zero but failure rate is very high in this case also okay you cannot rely on it now this method is effective only up to 6 months because after that the menstrual cycle starts again okay so just remember lactational amenorrhea now what are barrier methods so till now we have dealt with the natural method now barrier method means there is physical barrier there is a physical barrier which is made up of plastic usually or latex or polyurethane so ovum and sperms are prevented from physically meeting with the help of barriers they use barriers and it is available for both males as well as females just remember this okay so condoms are they are formed of latex sheath latex uh, may cause allergy to some males or females and if allergy is present then polyurethane material is also available for condoms it covers the penis tip in case of male or it is covering the vagina and cervix in the case of females both males and females condoms are available but males condoms are used more often okay used often than female condoms now nirod is a type of brand which is promoted by government of india it is a male condom and condoms have additional benefits in the form of protection from stds like syphilis gonorrhea hiv aids etc they are very very easy to use because no doctor is needed for it self inserted and it is very very easily disposable and it gives the privacy to the user because third person is not involved now this is a male condom uh, in an open form this is a male condom in uh, closed form which needs to be stretched over the penis and this is a condom for female which will cover the vagina and cervix now lastly we deal with diaphragms cervical caps vaults and there are various other instruments like this basically it is a dome shaped cup something like this which is inserted inside the vagina so it covers the cervix so whenever sperms are coming now so sperms will not be able to meet the cervix uh, and, and enter cervix so there is absolutely no chance that they will fuse with ovum it is made up of a material called as silicone it is not silicon okay and it prevents the sperm entry and the thing is it is reusable and uh, specially if you use it with the spermicidal creams it increase the efficiency of these product because it will kill the sperms so one of the example of spermicidal cream is nanoxinol 9 okay it is a type of chemical it is basically a surfactant which kills the sperms and jellies foams etc can also be used 
so this is a diagram of uh, diaphragm as you can see this is a typical diaphragm so i hope you like this tutorial i'll keep continuing this reproductive health series for one last video uh, do spread the word and be a part of this education revolution these are the urls where you can go do hit the thumbs up and this is the facebook pages this is me roman seni and do spread the education for all revolution thank you for watching the tutorial have an awesome day